Hi friends, today I am going to show demo of Spring Cloud CLI. Spring Cloud CLI used, used to run services like Eureka, Config Server, Chipkin, Hystrix uh, from command line. To install Spring Cloud CLI, we need to uh, install uh, Spring Boot CLI in our machine. After installing Spring Boot CLI, we can install Spring Cloud CLI. So the prerequisite is Java 8 should be there in your machine. Now I am going to install uh, Spring Boot CLI. So we can go to uh, Google Chrome and we can Google and we can search for uh, Sp Spring Boot uh, CLI repository. So I am able to see this. Uh, release version of spring boot uh, CLI click on that link so it shows different uh, release versions available for spring boot CLI so currently I am using uh, spring 1.5.3 release we have to use uh, zip file uh, we have to download bin zip so I am going to download Once the download is completed, we have to extract that uh, uh, zip file and we need to set that path in the path variable, system path, environment path variable. So now download is completed. So I am going to extract in the same path. So I am going to add this to the path variable. So let me open control panel. So I am going to environmental variables inside that uh, system variable section. I am going to first create a new variable called spring home. Uh, now I am going to update my path variable with spring home bin. So percentage slash bin. It should be small letter. Click save. So now let me go to command prompt and check whether my uh, Spring Boot CLI is working or not. So we can use the command spring. So the spring boot CLI is installed successfully. So we are able to see all the options uh, to run the file. We got the run command uh, to install. We have install and to in uninstall the software. We have uninstalled. So now I'm going to install spring cloud CLI using uh, install command. So spring install we need to give group id colon artifact id colon version so i'm going to use uh, 1.3.2 version so the art artifact id org dot spring framework dot cloud Sorry, group ID is org spring framework dot cloud. Artifact ID is uh, spring cloud CLI. Spring iPhone cloud iPhone CLI. And version is 1.3.1. Dot release. Now it started installing.
So let me test whether the Spring Cloud CLI is uh, installed successfully or not using Spring Cloud iPhone uh, iPhone list command. It gives the list of services available in the Spring Cloud CLI. So it currently Spring Cloud CLI is supporting Config Server, Dataflow, Eureka Server, H2 and Histrix Dashboard, Kafka and Jipkin. So now I am going to show uh, how to start Jipkin Server. So we have to use Spring Cloud Jipkin. It will start the Jipkin Server in default port 9411. So the, it started uh, extracting the var file. See the Jipkin server is started in the port 9411. So let me go to browser and see. Localhost It's taking time. So meanwhile, I'll go and start my application. So in my previous session, I have created Jipkin server uh, using uh, Java code. Instead of that, now I'm starting using uh, Spring Cloud CLI. I want to test my services uh, in I want to send the logs in Jipkin server so I'm going to start student service and the other services. I'll make some calls. So no logs were given went to a Jipkin server. So I want to see some logs which goes to Jipkin server so that we can see in the console. Jipkin UI. 
so let me heat uh, some more time yeah now uh, some logs went to jipkin server so start. so it's taking uh, time to start the server let me uh, pause the video so uh, now the server is up uh, i'll search for all the services Uh, for some reason the Jipkin server didn't start properly so I'm going to restart that and see whether it works so I'm going to start with Spring Cloud Jipkin it uses a uh, launcher uh, uh, to launch start this uh, services Yeah, now we can see Jipkin server is starting. And it started Tomcat in 9411. When I used a version 1.3.1 release, we have not we were not able to see this Jipkin server uh, image. We were not able to see this Jipkin. Uh, image so I changed from 1.3.1 release to 1.3.1 uh, build snapshot uh, so let me start the service
Oh, it's taking so much time to load the page. So now the service is loaded, so I am going to uh, check for the service, student service calls. So let me produce some logs to go to the student service. Yeah, now we are able to see all the calls which has happened from the student service. So the Jipkin service is working as expected. Uh, so there is no difference from the uh, code which we have created in Spring Boot uh, using Jipkin server or through CLI. Similarly, we can in create Eureka server, we can create uh, Histrix dashboard and uh, we can create H2 console also. So I will show uh, how to create Eureka. I'll open another command prompt. So it's Spring Cloud Eureka for Eureka server to start. So when it is starting, I'll start uh, his tricks also. Using launcher, it started uh, deploying the service. Even here, it using launcher service. So it's saying the Histrix uh, default dashboard is in this path. Oh, it's saying some connection refused. So, Istrix uh, is started in port 799 instead of uh, 8888. So, let me go and hit. Yeah, we are able to see Histrix dashboard. Similarly, let me check for uh, Eureka server. This is Histrix. Eureka is not started. Yeah, now it's started. So now our Eureka server is started in port 8761 Eureka dashboard So let me go to browser and see So 
so we are able to see eureka server dashboard currently no service it was uh, uh, registered so thank you friends